What if I told you I know what happened when you are persecuted? You became a ghost. Trapped in a shadow land. The world of whispers. Invisible, except to others' ghosts. Orphans, unable to return to those you love. I come to the UK to seek protection, but I end up being locked up in an immigration detention centre like a criminal. The Queen birthday honour, 2020. CBE, Empire. OBE, MMBE, MMBE member, member of, of the most, most excellent, excellent order, order of the British Empire. Empire. I was a ghost and I'm still a ghost. As a ghost, though, you have one power that threatens all perpetrators. It is my voice. I despise injustice and I fight it and the evil that lurk in our world with all my might. Usually, people judge you. They define you by looking at your present life. My story is defined by my experiences. My experiences are defined by my sacrifices and suffering. The road that took me to London was cold at certain days, scorching hot at others, and beautiful at other times. To reach London, I had to experience extortion, extortion, sexual violence, sexual violence persecution, persecution, starvation, starvation poverty, poverty, loss, and uncertain, uncertain disbelief, disbelief, stigma, and stigma. What if I told you I did know that fighting injustice will one day become my full-time job at one of the best charity in the world, freedom from torture? that I would be appointed as survivor champion by the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, that I will be honored by Her Majesty the Queen for service for torture and sexual violence survivors. I would have been lying to you, but here I am. I knew that I'm going to figure out how I'm going to be remembered. I'm going to use my voice serving people who has been hurt like me. And since then, I had single-minded ambition to restore some dignity to survivors of torture and sexual torture, present ourselves as experts, and create space for that expertise to shine. The things that have happened to me were cruel, evil, and unfair. But I have to learn to let go. I have learned to show love, forgiveness, kindness, respect, and understanding. I have always wanted to be a noble person to transcend my suffering and hurt into wisdom. And I believe that I have gift from God, and I am a lucky person. I try my hardest to focus on being a good person. Certainly, my grandmother looking down on me now and probably saying, he is my boy. He will always strive to be the best. As you get older, things in life will be taken away from you. That's part of life. But don't ever let anyone take away your dignity and your belief. At times, I was worried about my identity. But he is me now, Kolbasia House. MBE, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. I am honored and grateful for the recognition. My gratitude goes to my friends, member of the Survivors Speak Out Network, my colleague, present and past at Freedom from Torture, the team at the Preventing Sexual Violence Initiative, my nieces, my nephew, my sisters, my brothers, my love, my boys, those who put up on with my sacrifices 
helping and serving survivors. I have never thought about Anona. I have never thought about making money. I have only one thought about what difference I can make in other people's lives. The best job ever you can do is serving others. Thank you. I am very grateful for this country for giving me protection and giving me the freedom and the space to be who I want to be. Thank you. May God bless you.